tell us what's up. I mean, I know that last year you had it going on and this year you bring in like just 25 massive bands. Yeah, so uh, like last year, my buddies in Virulent Excision were coming. I, they wanted to book a show down here and I was like, well, fuck it, I'll do it. Um, and I got, I got like, I wanted to make it a big, a special thing. So I got a bunch of my homies from down in Houston and Austin, like Defiled Crypt and uh, Putrid Womb and, uh, and then after the fact, I mean, we added so many bands, we decided to give it like a little name, and I came up with Gordon, the Heart of Texas, because deep in the heart of Texas, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, and it was funny, I'm gonna call Miguel out on this shit, because he's like, that's kind of a mouthful, and I'm like, you're from Chicago, I don't think you understand the reference. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, it turned out that uh, when, I, when I asked people about doing another one, like everyone was super stoked. Um, I have I've met a lot of cool people over the last like four or five years doing Reviled. So whenever the time came, I started reaching out to bands, and I, I got Protoquin, Malignancy. Um, I actually just recently uh, I booked Cenotaph from fucking Turkey. Um, I got a Toll coming, uh, Stabbing from fucking Austin. Uh, we got Flesh Hoarder. Flesh yeah, fucking Flesh Hoarder. We got Reviled, my band, because uh, duh. <laughs> and we got we got. And I mean, I and that's. Not even that's not even scraping the surface yet because we have I have like I think now it's officially at like 27 or 28 bands so we it's gonna be a sick year I'm really excited I'm just trying to build a home for brutality and DFW right again on. it used to be a place that like it was like it was just known that this it was the standard and I don't think that died I feel like it's just attention went away from it and I love brutality and brutal I just want to play brutal death with my fucking friends. And I was like, you know what? If no one else is gonna do it, I'm gonna fucking do it. So, right on. so I got hey. myself in this fucking mess of booking all these bands and like just come and buy a ticket so I can pay them. Hell yeah! yeah. Hey, <laughs> do you want to give us a little bit of info on this uh, ticket information? Because I know it's a two-day event this time, and it's just massive. And... So, um, you, all tickets can be purchased through the Gordon the Heart of Texas Fest big, uh, big Cartel. Yeah, I almost said Bandcamp. It's a Big Cartel. Um, the link is in the bio, on the Instagram, on the Twitter, on the Facebook, uh, and, and uh, pretty much in the comments of every single post that I make. So you can get uh, single day tickets for day one or day two. Uh, you can also get the two day pass. Uh, actually, now until the end of July, anyone who buys a two day pass gets entered to win a Gordon Heart of Texas Fest t-shirt and or flag, up to you. Um, wow. While supplies last though. And uh, you can also buy a VIP bundle. It's a two day pass, comes with a shirt, comes with the flag, and uh, you know, that's pretty much it, but you know, next year there'll be more shit yeah. for you. <laughs> yeah. So I understand that with like Revolve, we got uh, Vertican drummer, Brennan. They are your headliners, right? Yeah, they're, they're headlining day two. Yes, yeah. massive right there. Lots yeah. of followers and everything. I'm so excited about it. Um, do you plan, well, first let me ask, when you initially started this, and you're talking about brutality and coming up with it, um, did you know it was going to become a big, like, Well, so, so I'm working with Miguel from CDF, and he's been doing it for a long time, and so he's he's got the chops, he knows what he's fucking doing, so he's been helping guide me on this. I've booked shows plenty, I've had plenty of, like, eight-plus bands shows, but, like, I've never done anything at this scale, so... But I knew I wasn't. I, I knew if I was gonna do it, it had to be big. It had to. I had to fucking like really put something on. I wasn't trying to just book every low TXDM band that exists. And it's like we're fucking playing. No, it's like no. Let's fucking. I want to bring bands that haven't played Texas in maybe 15 years. Right. Or I haven't played bring DFW since like two years prior to COVID. So like I'm really. That was a big thing for me. Was just like I just want. I want it to be enticing enough to where it's not just the motherfuckers that live here that come. I went, and as of right now, I got people coming from Canada. I got people coming from Europe, and like it blows me away because like I'm just trying to fucking put on brutal shit, and I got these fucking homies coming all the way across the sea. It's pretty right. tight. I'm really stoked. I, I'm. I don't. Next year's gonna be hard to. It's gonna be hard to top this year with next year's edition. I already got some sick candidates though, so like, you know, we'll see. We'll see where it goes. Like I'm very confident. I have some good backers. I have really good friends trying helping me out in any way that I need. So I've been very fortunate in this whole thing. I didn't just like, I didn't put too much on my plate, fortunately. Even though it looks like it, because there's a shit ton of bands. And you know what is so great is that this is gonna be an ongoing, hi! <laughs> this is going to be an ongoing thing. Hey, what's up, girl? 
happens to be an ongoing thing and I, I perceive <coughs> this is something definitely that, that Texas needed here. Yeah. And so the, the way you came in just full force all the way, that is so awesome, dude. And um, okay, I know that you as an individual are very passionate about scene and everything that you do and you put in. Is there anything that you want to say to any bands that are coming in or have yet to visit Texas? So, for bands who've never come to Texas, um, we fucking love brutality here. And if you bring an ounce of brutality, we'll give you two back. So, if you've never played Texas, and if, like some of the bands that are playing Gord, if you like, like I know Desiccation hasn't ever played Texas. Yeah. Like Desiccation is gonna be like, holy fuck! I can't wait for those, dude. Like they're like the guitar player in that band is like 14 fucking years old. Wow. They're children. Like it's yeah. it's fucking amazing, and they're the future of like what we do. It's fucking, and they're front they they're from the Cali scene, so they got that Cali death, and I yeah. love so like they're gonna be blown away by what we have to offer because they've been playing six shows, but I don't think they've ever played anything that's gonna be good as this. <laughs> um, for bands that are like coming into the scene, like in DFW or even just in Texas in general, um, just fucking put out shit that you believe in. Don't rush your shit. Like Revile did that. Like like. Not to the extent where it hurt us, but it was fucking, it was unnecessary. We could have fucking uh, let that shit ferment a little bit more and provide a more polished, beautiful product. And we did. We fucked up. We were stupid. We were dumb young idiots. I'm glad I'm old now, but it sucks. My bones hurt. But, um, <laughs> but like, if you're coming into the scene and, like, you're trying to get shows booked and shit, like, I like, I mean, just fucking... You show up a couple times on time, fucking play your set and right. get off stage. You're gonna have promoters who are like, I can count on this fucking band to come in here and do their job. And and if you're fucking sick enough, like I'm gonna shout out my local homies in Scapism. They're fucking yeah. Scapism is so sick. I'm so fucking stoked for them. They're yeah. playing Gordon the Heart of Texas Fest yes, too. They are. Um, I they are fucking they're fucking it's a bunch of fucking young dudes. Like they're fucking their guitar player is 19 years old. Like they're kids. And they come in, they fucking do what they're supposed to do, right. they put on a great show, and they're fucking, they're pros. And like, one thing I want to say too is like, you, you're supposed to get paid for what you do. If you play a show and a promoter doesn't pay you, fuck that guy. That's the only reason I started doing it, is because I'm sick of bands getting fucked by promoters. I don't do this to make money, I do this to keep brutality thriving here. You're supposed to get paid, make sure you get paid. Because I'm sick of seeing bands just walk out of venues. Like, I didn't know we were gonna get paid. Why? You came here and did a job. You're supposed to get fucking paid. Keep that in mind. <laughs> Hell yeah. Okay, well, thank you so much. Let's yeah, get no this problem. Thing. Let's get this ball rolling. I'm get stuck. everybody bored up. September 23rd and 24th at the Halton Theater. Gordon Art of Texas Fest. Brodequin, Malignancy, Atoll, Stabbing, Flesh Order, Future Womb. The list goes on and on. Come on out. Fucking mosh with us. It's gonna be a great time. Thank All you right. so much. You're welcome. And once again, this home theater, 5601 East Bel Belknap, home yeah. city, uh, home city, Texas. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> yeah. Sure it is. I don't know. I don't even have it memorized. <laughs> so that was fucking pretty sick. All right. Thanks, Dick Nick. No problem. You have a good one. All right.